Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have another match, which is AC Olu and HJK. I just said versus AC Olu and HJK. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Anyway, this is what, uh, it's going to be a largely rotated squad because everyone's kind of uh, tuckered out, so that's the way it's going to be. That's just it. It's just, I think we'll just like substitute one of these guys for Harala at some points and probably go that route. Um, so yeah, yeah, like a decent little rest and uh, stuff between the next game and this one, so I'm really not that worried about it. I may try and pull out some stops and fuck with some shit, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, it's got some dark times, dark times right now. At ACLU. Dark times. Terrible times. But anyhow. Um. Uh, uh, what should we go with? We'll just go with the same thing. Go out there and enjoy yourselves tonight or something. I don't know. Anyway, I mean, it's a good thing we have Philip Schoberg because that kind of gives us a little bit more room to play around. Although we could just play Ryssenen, which, by the way, I did not put him on the bench. I probably should have. But anyways, it is what it is. And, ooh. As I say, you are way off sides, Ramasaho. Jesus. Like, holy shit. Now, in this match, I wouldn't be up too upset if we got a draw, but we'll see how it goes. Like I said, maybe I'll pull out the stops and go a little more... Offensive with our uh, another four one two three zero at some point, um, just to see if we can get some three points. We could really use some points at this point. Ah, let's see what I did there. But anyhow, it is what it is. Oh boy, uh, we already did beat HJK once this season, so I'm not all that. Um. Oh my god, I fucking hate when they do that. I don't know where to go with it. Um, Rins. Anyway, um, I'm not really all that pressed, I don't think, to get points out of this match. I don't think it's that big. Like I said, we already, we already got, uh, we've already beaten them this season. I don't know, it was in the, um, in the Finnish Premier Division, wasn't it? Am I losing my shit? I'm probably losing my shit, but just in general, like I said, it's, you know, would like points, but draw would be all right here i guess i mean they are probably the best team in finland all the way around but I'm not too uh not too upset if we well i wouldn't be too upset if we lose either i mean like i said dark times here right now at least for me i mean i'd be like shit can't fucking string together any good performances in all honesty i mean like i said i thought our last performance is complete shit but i mean like i said i mean when you have the advantage like that you know, you you have two men up for a good fifteen minutes and then get match. You should win. I'm just saying, and the fact that we didn't fucking push anything at the end of that match is really disappointing. And I expect to be on the back foot for large portions of this game. I mean, just look at what they're putting together here. I mean, if it's not obvious that they've got better players than we do, it should be. <laughs> just because of the, just the, uh, just in general the amount of possession they're able to stream together. And that happens. Um, and I worked on a attacking movement leading up to this game too. Maybe to get some, you know, actual scoring done instead of just this shit where we gotta rely on a defender to score for us. Which isn't very good, in case you don't know. It's not no just fucking get rid of it, man. Just send it up the pitch. Oh, uh, you too. Jesus. That was very risky, but you pulled it off, so I'm not too pissed off about that. Oh, sweet Jesus. Just turn around. Turn the fuck around. You've got options. Sweet Christ. Yeah, this is going to be a bad game for us. Yeah, you had options there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Wusu, look at you. Being the man... Yeah, as I say, you got... Oh my god, the goal. On the counter. Well, it's sort of counter. 
I mean, I guess you can go out counter. But it was a turnover in midfield. See, that right there, I mean, that was just Remasajo running into space. Look at that. So he's just running into space. You know? I mean, I'm going to check. Let's see what, uh... Yeah, see. Remasajo's pace is decent. Of course, like I said, there is just running into space. That's all you got to do. Run into space. Because we're going to create space, especially when you hold the ball up like that. I mean, look at the players that just get sucked into where Harala is. And then you create these little gaps like that. Which, Jesus Christ, Ramasaho a double R. Not that good. He can't finish that well. I mean, that was even kind of mundane, the build-up to that. Look at that. His finishing is six. Like, Christ. I don't know, like I said. Uh, oh, I thought that was going to be a fucking penalty there for a second. The way play kind of got held up there, it's like, oh, fuck. You're going to do that to me? Oh, yeah, we, we can do that. I don't like doing that too much. I don't really don't like the uh, camera angles in this game, in all honesty. I'd rather have the actual touchline. I mean, this is, I don't remember what this is, like directors or some shit. I really don't like it all that much. I'd prefer, you know, closer to the field. A little more zoomed in, but that's just me. Oh, Jesus. Why are, why are you over here, Ermins? I mean, you've got Bachman there. I mean, he should more than be enough to to cover that. You get lucky with that long pass out of the... Oh, my God. Harala pulling the strings. Oh, Hanan and I don't know how Remasaho got that to you, but I get a two goal lead up at home. Yay! Let's see if we can't piss this away like we did in the last match, right? 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 Uh, it's just, like I said, I mean, it's hard for me to get really all that enthused the way things have been going. I mean, I don't know. It's just. The thing that really hangs over my head, like I said, is the fact that we cannot re-sign any of these players for next season already. That really hurts me. I mean, like, for whatever reason, like, I don't know. Like, not being able to sign new players, yeah, that sucks. And But, you know, eventually you're going to be able to. But being unable... Oh, dear God. Wow. Wow. I never thought I'd say this. But I kind of... Kind of can't wait till our number one goalkeeper comes back. <laughs> Although he'll be quickly replaced, you know, come next term when we have a... Much, much better goalkeeper coming in. That'll be nice. That's on the two. Like I said, I mean, just as long as you have, like, consistency and... All that shit out of your back. Oh, Jesus. Out of the back four and your goalkeeper. I mean, that goes a long way towards giving you... Towards giving me, you know, hope. Because, I mean, uh, goal scoring is something that's easy enough to do. And, like I said, I mean, we can shuffle players around and try and tweak it and shit like that. And, you know, figure out, you know, what's what. Harala up there in front has been... Pretty good. Maybe we should think about doing that and letting Uyala run off the ball. Maybe that's been the problem the whole time is he's not uh, not facilitating as well because, I mean, Harala is just turning and, you know, putting in all sorts of incisive passes. I mean, making making shit easier for players like Ramasaho and shit like that. I mean, yeah, just well-timed. Another. Oof. Asking all sorts of questions now poor guy of course our defending hasn't been all that great I mean they've had a good share of possession really should have had a goal or two themselves quite honestly we got a little lucky in that respect and where in the fuck are you going oof and Schoblum or Schoberg fucking Schoblum Schoberg 
is able to fucking give us a chance on that one. Jesus. It's going to be a big... <clears throat> Quite the test. I mean, you know, like I said, it, we had to um, had to rotate the squad quite a bit. Which, like as I've said before, I mean, I don't mind rotating the squad at all. And Harry Masaha just ran out of real estate there. Yeah, I guess we'll shut all their guys down and see if we can't hold on to this two goal lead. Although, at least they have a two-goal lead, and I can be a little happy with the way it's gone in the first half. And I think I will. I mean, we've had good, you know. I mean, we've looked we've looked threatening, at least, and created a few chances. I mean, three clear-cut chances. Of course, like I said, we've only had two goals, but I mean, it's better than what our first half last time, which was really piss poor. Oh, my God, Owusu, are you really going to score? To say you're not the one that I build a score all that much. Not gonna lie, but I mean, good stuff, good movement, good, just good everything. Everything is good. Oh boy, that was kind of frightening. At least for them, anyway. I don't, fuck, I'll take a third goal. Although once again, I mean, oh, you guys got to push up farther than that. That really does seem to be uh, a weakness when they really do move that ball back and forth. Our fullbacks seem to not be able to handle that right now. That happened in the last game a few times, and this certainly happened here already to some degree. And like I said, those defense first fullbacks, those ones that are able to certainly shore up the corners and shit and, and just stay in the right place, stay at home and defend properly, are the ones that are really. Ooh. Ones that are really going to do us a world of good. But as I was saying too before, fucking events took a turn for the worst in the last match. Of course, now that I mentioned defending and what our players need to do, I'm sure we will uh, surrender a goal. See, fuck, see, every time. Maybe I should just shut the fuck up and just let these guys just do whatever the fuck they're going to do. Because every time I open my mouth to say anything about, like, you know defending or proper defending and shit like that they just want to fucking score I mean, it's just there's quite often no oh, jesus you had opportunities you gotta get the ball what in the fuck okay still what the fuck i mean jesus not 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 the, not the way you really want to play that's one thing too i don't I've noticed a lot more with this squad. Maybe it's cool because I pay more, 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 more attention to it. We don't play inside as often. Oh, Jesus. We don't play inside as often as we should. We look to go outside too much. We really do. I mean, we really should be playing inside out more. You know, in, in all honesty. I mean, they're just... We've got op opportunities, and that's something, too. I mean, you know, it, there's a lot of plays there to be made as long as the pass is halfway decent but anyway see so yeah once again I mean, nah, 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 I'm just gonna shut the fuck up before I start complaining in circles basically all right <sighs> fuck whatever all right fine we lost I get it god damn it I suppose I should be happy with a one goal lead at least huh right I should, in all honesty, the way they've fucking played. Because they haven't been, they haven't been bad, I mean, it's just been, the only reason why we hold the lead is our passing has been rather incisive and, oh my lord, what a fucking pass to Harala. Jesus, oh shit. I thought that was going to sneak past him there for a second and hunting and had a chance to have a fucking... Oh, Jesus Christ, are we clustered here or what? Fuck. God damn. Fuck, everyone wants to get in on the attacking... Fucking... <laughs> on the attacking play now. I mean, you look at how... Yeah, all right. You look at how much we're getting in... How, how many players are going forward here when we get the ball. We didn't see much of that in the last match. Like I said, Oyala just kind of made... In my honest opinion, not a lot of dead end runs, or just running into nothing, or just not running on the ball. I mean, there are a couple good plays, but 
you know, we didn't create hardly any chances compared to what we're doing now. I mean, at least not as incisively. Oh, boy. All right. I thought he dropped the ball there for a second. I was like, oh, God damn it. But anyhow. I just all I want is just to finish out the next 30 minutes. I'm not. Fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, we got a little lucky there. That didn't come to anything. It's amazing, quite honestly, in football, how plays like that don't result in as many, like, interventions like that don't, you know, when a defender comes up and just cuts off the play like that and sends the ball back the other way super quick. You know, how that doesn't end up in more scoring opportunities. It's really weird. Like, I don't know, you would think, like, just, you know... A basic understanding of physics and sports and, you know, changing direction and shit like that, you know, how how important that is in sports and especially open play sports like this or even football, you know, non-open play sports, you know, oh shit, fuck you. You know, it's just one of those things where you would expect that to create more opportunities, but it really doesn't. And I don't know, maybe it's just because, maybe it's just the nature of, a, of how the ball kind of just ends up uh, being... So, oh, wonderful stuff there. Oh, Harala, I thought you had that. Maybe it's just the nature of like how forcefully the ball, you know, travels back at the at the uh, at the other team, and then just ends up, you know, taking all the offensive players out of the out of the play. I don't know. Like I said, it's just a just little little interesting thing that I, you know interesting little tidbit and you watch a lot of football you're like wow how does that not you know how does that end up in nothing more often than not but anyway it is what it is but anyhow jesus we are moving the ball pretty cool oh, that was a good strike from Mousu. given time and space he's able to plop that sucker in there their goalkeeper's been good I'm, oh did that come in off the post? Is that an own goal, or did he legitimately get that on his end? That's nice. Good shit. Good shit. Third goal. Thank Jesus. Might convert here soon. Shit. You never know. You never knew. Anyhow, should we should we take Harala off? Should we? Who should we put up there? I'm gonna do something. I'm just gonna try and play with stuff and try and put like Hananen up there to see what happens. Just to see. You know, just to see what's what is what it is. I don't know if I'm gonna put uh socks a lot in there. I know he's kinda of complaining about not getting time. Maybe this will help alleviate some of that if he's kind of at least given some time when he's being rotated out of there. Cause I don't mind starting him. He's been decent. As long as he stays healthy, that's the only thing that's Irritate me. I mean, he just doesn't. Oh, no one made a run there. No one made a run. But anyhow. Alright, so we put Oyala back out there and see if we can kind of get anything off the ball. Maybe, maybe that's what's kind of stifling his creativity and shit. Although I do feel like we're playing a little too narrow, or at least these fullbacks get suckered in too much. I don't mind him right there, but I mean, I don't know. We should have at least a defensive midfielder back there a little bit. Because right there, yeah, he's a little too narrow. Why is he so narrow? He shouldn't be that narrow. I mean, unless our unless uh, I'm not paying attention and our defensive midfielders aren't contributing at all. But, I mean, oof. Well, thank you. Just run. Just go running with it. Put it in the corner. Alright, that works too. Anyhow, alright, we're... We might actually win this. Dare I say it? Dare I fucking say it? With nine minutes left in the normal time. Oh my, he's away. And Sue Wissy, look at you. Now you're starting to... That was a good cover. That was, that was a good job helping out. Bachman was beat and just came in to clean it up. See, and I like that sort of assertive defending. It's like, 
if he comes over to help and you know the attacker passes the ball or you know want to touch some amazing shit and get around and that's fine i mean it's but you know just staying at home sometimes and that especially when you're so close to the other central defender i mean i think central defenders have to really help each other out a lot in my honest opinion i think staying at home is you know and leaving your your partner out there to dry because i think because i really do feel like central defending is more of a of a partnership i mean in, in the true sense of the word i think you know you really have to you really have to help each other out and cover a lot more than you know you do stay at home you know what i mean like especially in the circumstances like that where bachman gets beat and you know the touch is just a tad heavy and suicide just comes over to be assertive and clears it you know things like that just you know that's I don't know, like like I said, that to me is how you should play that defensive, the central defender spot. But anyway, yeah, that's just my tiny philosophy. I mean, ideally, no, you don't want your players to ever get beat. But, you know, like I said, it's that partnership, I think, is a little underrated sometimes. And the same thing, too, with, like, the central, uh, like, the defensive midfielders and the central defenders. I mean, I think... Especially when you have one of them as a halfback in this game. I really like how they come in and they cover so much and all that good shit. Oh, shit. Okay, good. Oh, shit. I thought we gave up a penalty there. I was going to go, god damn it. I am thinking, though, a little bit... Uh, ooh. Just kind of standing there dead, but... Oh, good lord. Someone got shot. Mm -mm. Yeah, easy stuff in the end. A lot of on-target shots. I like that. Their goalkeeper's been pretty good. I have to admit. A lot of, lot of those long-range dipping shots that have kind of come in that could have easily run the score up to five or more. But you saved a lot of those... A lot of those good-looking ones, anyway. I'm thinking about, uh, like I was saying, I'm thinking about changing uh, the defensive mid. Fucking Christ, changing the defensive midfielders a little bit. I think, uh, like I don't know, like I, I like the ball-winning midfielder, but sometimes, ugh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. God damn it! I did not want to put Ose out there, but. Wanted to give him that. Well, it's not really gonna affect his fucking whatever you want to call it condition all that much. But it's gonna give us a shit ton. There we go. Thank you, fucker. Anyhow, we at least secured three points today. Yay! Finally. Finally. Something good happening. All right. Anyhow, and that puts us three points. Holy shit, Lottie just drew. That's they've had some shitty results too. So. But Jesus Christ, FC Inter has not had shit fucking goals this year. God damn. That's pretty low, at least in my opinion. I mean, are we really scoring? I guess we are scoring a decent amount. Good Lord. And here I was. Certainly our goals against is little. Has certainly affected our, uh, our point tally so far. But anyhow, let's take a look at Hanan and see how bad... The damage. 9 to 12 days. Okay. Alright. Oh, he sustained a concussion. That's that's neat. That's neat. Anyhow, alright. You made it this far on YouTube. You know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.